My name is David Smith, software developer at OpenNMS, and what I've been doing this week is working on uh, NRT alarms and metrics. Um, so I've been creating an NRT service uh, that will, in near real time, push alarms, uh, metrics, and uh, positions uh, out to a web client. So here's the basic architecture. We'll have Kafka sitting somewhere. We have uh, two consumers, a metrics consumer and a alarms consumer um, that are retrieving those metrics inside the NRT server. Those get uh, managed um, by subscriptions. And then a JavaScript library will allow a WebSocket connection to that server. And then once registered, receive all of those updates, get pushed right to the client browser. Um, so we have done some experimenting uh, with a visual topology that allows you to wander around things. Um, so what this does is provide support for while you're in that uh, network environment to actually see metrics pop up on items in the, the uh in that environment. So you can see alarms pop up on the switches. You can see metrics updated in real time. And so this provides that functionality. Um, in order to do that, the client basically issues a connect directive, gets a client ID back, and then it's able to subscribe to the topics. There's three topics, as I mentioned, alarms, metrics, position. Uh, position is in that environment. There could be multiple people immersed at the same time. So by sending the position, you then know where that other person is and the orientation, what they're looking at. Um, also, within the subscription to topics, um, basically, the client can subscribe to items. So that would be a filter. So for instance, if you want alarms, but just on one particular node, that would be the item that you would subscribe to. So you would subscribe to the alarm topic and that node item basically effectively filters. Uh, positional info, uh, basically described. For anyone that's interested, it's just seven numbers. And I can give you a quick demo of it. So, yeah, that's my threshold serialization. And away we go. Okay, so that's going to start up the server and fire up a couple of Kafka consumers. And while that's doing that, we'll jump over to the web client. So you hear, see there's basically, once it makes a uh, request to the particular port, it actually opens up the WebSocket. Once it sends a connect command, it gets a connect response, which includes a client ID. So then it will use that further in all of its subscriptions. Uh, so then we can subscribe to alarms. What's in the message? We can subscribe to metrics. Uh, positions don't make much sense in this because it doesn't have uh, three dimensionality to it. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I've kind of cheated and uh, turned off the filtering. So even though we subscribe to a particular node for alarms, any alarms can get through just because it's actually pointed at a real Kafka bus and we don't want to sit around waiting for that particular machine to have an alarm. So as I let that breakpoint go through, we flip back over and we see that what was paused there was a metric valuation. And also for the purposes of the demo, I kind of filtered them down to a few items uh, so that it doesn't just spam the screen. So if we let a couple more go through, look and see if there's another thread no so we haven't gotten any alarms yet so these are all metrics coming from the same adapter uh, there there's an alarm so we can punch that through and what we've seen is as I was letting them go all of them come pushed to the browser and at the end we should see one of the alarms that got through because we basically have a thread for each adapter that's matched to uh, the consumer and that's Basically, it was a big point here. Can you subscribe to all alarms? Yes. So I could make this a thing that Compass can pop out notifications and stuff based on alarms? 
Definitely, yeah. Then mm -hmm. I don't have to do real push notification. Mm -hmm. well, well, yeah, well, it does and stuff. yeah. Well, you can also do a background poll and check on it. Yep. You do stuff too, but. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, so it's only been three days, you know, working on this. Yeah. We had uh, an off-the-shelf system that we used for the initial bootstrap demo, uh, proof of concept purpose, but we wanted something that is ours and uh, commercial. So uh, this is basically just another proof of concept. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that's still left, like improved uh, protocol. Uh, currently now, there's no subscription response sent to the client, but that would be something that we would do, and all yeah. kinds of security type things, authentication. Uh, client enforcement right now if you go and you do a subscription um, there's nothing to enforce that client ID but the way it's wired you wouldn't get any messages back it's not a valid one because it tracks the subscriptions uh, for the purposes of monitoring your position in the three-dimensional space um, that client ID is important and as the web socket is torn down it automatically sends a this person's gone sort of thing and that can be propagated to the other people so they actually see it disappear we had previous iteration Ghosts. So you come in, and you go away, but you internally wouldn't go away. So you just populate, grow over time. So that's it. Any questions? Go ahead. Thank you. Thanks a lot.